Hey everyone, welcome to Commerce with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. Today is something very special. Today is the finally the official Bueller bus tour. We're gonna show you everything on the outside, the inside, everything in between, pretty much everything is done. Some little things here and there, nothing really major, but you know what? 99.9% .9 of the bus is ready to go and it's time to show it off. Let's go ahead and jump to the outside of the bus and we'll start the official tour of the Bueller bus heading your way. All right, so it's now time for the official reveal. We're looking at the front end of the Bueller bus. As you can see, buy, sell, go live uh, with the Whatnot and Bueller logo there on the front. Um, obviously, I've said this before, Whatnot had a lot to do with this van. And uh, you know what, without them, I couldn't have got this done. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in the coming future. But you can see some flames on there kind of next to our uh logos and stuff and you can see the the jet black with the nice chrome bumper and uh everything works headlights work all that good stuff and uh, so anyway this is the front side let's go ahead and get a little bit closer show you uh, the bueller logo looking all nice whatnot looking nice i guess there's a uh, more times together so i don't know what that means but i don't know whatnot times bueller equals uh a black bueller bus i don't know it's pretty cool. I'll take it, you know. Um, all right, let's move over to the uh, driver's side. And as you can see, the cab is nice and black. And you go up there. There's the spider web. That's for my buddy Sam from Sam's Tangled Web. And there you go. That's the featured side of the Whatnot app itself. Uh, I call this the Whatnot side. My logo is pretty big there. The big, you know, Congress with Bueller sign right there. Uh, you can see where it says download the app. You can actually scan that uh, code right there with your phone. And you can download the app right from there. Um, I don't know if I get a cut from that, but if I do, that'd be great. If not, you know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, but as you can see, this is a little wider shot from front to back. And all the goodness kind of go around here on the right side. Show you the Comics with Bueller logo. You can compare it to the van right there. So it's a pretty good size logo in comparison to the van itself and most of the windows are pretty much blacked out on this side you can't really see from the uh from the side of the street so that's good uh the wheels we're going to get brand new wheels and tires that's kind of what we're going to focus on next kind of get maybe some chrome wheels and nice tires to be going down the freeway and visiting all you guys and the comic shops and all that good stuff but here you go one last look of that side let's go ahead and move our way to the back which I kind of gave away on my Instagram, but we'll spend some time on here a little bit more closer. Sorry, I can't get any closer than this because my van's right there. But you can see on top, sponsored by, and then all the sponsors of the Bueller channel. First one is the Hero Initiative. Um, I've worked with that charity for a long time. They don't pay a dime uh, for this. Uh, I do all the stuff for them for free, and I've tried to raise uh, some money for them. I've actually raised quite a bit of money for them, so I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, Black Box Comics right there. Been working with them for a while. Bird City Comics. Uh, their logo was a little turned out different, so we got to fix that. Pretty sure we can get that done. There is the Mocha Express uh, Coffee. Obviously, my local coffee shop. They're pretty happy to see that. And you can also see the whole United States. I'm going to try to uh, uh, put stickers of where I go or maybe signatures or something like that. That would look pretty cool on there or something on the back of there. So... Anyway, it looks awesome. I like it. It's kind of a, a good idea. Obviously, there's no Hawaii on there. Just, you know, just water and stuff. And I don't have Australia on there. With, or not Australia, Alaska. But I should have Alaska. It'd be kind of nice. But anyway, that's the back end. I'm going to try to move around the bus or around the van here. Give me a quick second. All right, we'll come up on this side. And still the back side. But you can see the, the Comics on Coffee logo. And there is my Sam's Tangled Web logo uh, for my buddy Sam who passed away uh, just last year, just a few months ago. I really wanted to put that on there. It was very important to me that I got that taken care of because I wanted him to be with me. Uh, he was a really dear friend, and you'll always be with me on my travels, buddy. Uh, love you a lot. Miss you every day. Uh, so anyway, that's the back end. There's still room for more sponsors, too, so... You never know. Okay, let's move on to the uh, passenger side. And that's my garage right there that gets into the back. You can see my logo with the Whatnot logo. 
with the little dots that kind of go around um, like a map and stuff. And it leads to Comics Cross Country. And that's kind of the uh, theme of the, of the bus. We're going across the country to celebrate comics and highlight comics. Those windows are not covered, so you can see in there. They're a little tinted, and I have shades, but if I'm interviewing someone on the bus, you'll be able to see inside and, and see what's going on. Here is the front doors. I'll try to step back a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Sorry, my garbage can's in the way. So there you go. Get the full view. My dead tree right there of the Bueller bus from the very uh, passenger side. Looks really cool. Very happy with it. Um, just kind of move along here. I think we're going to go to the front a little bit more. Just give you a, the last part of the uh, front side. So you can, if you see this coming at you, be prepared. Because, I mean, it's, there's no brakes on this thing. It's nonstop. Okay, let's go inside and take a look inside the bus. And here we come inside the bus right here. You can see this is the cab. Um, nothing too spectacular. It's just the cab. I didn't really do much to it. Um, pretty much everything stock. I will have a um, backup camera, I believe, and some other things on there. There's my B for Bueller. That's the doormat so people can wipe their feet on my B and stuff. And uh, anyway, not too exciting. Got my cooler for some drinks and some storage up there. I'm going to redo that a little bit. Uh, but really the cab wasn't really the main focus. I really wanted to build the, the body of the uh, Bueller bus up. <laughs> so let's turn around and uh, take a look. There's my little dangly lights. Those are nice. We'll take a look inside the cool Bueller bus. Here we go. Look at the wood floors looking good, you know, and uh, this is the best angle I can get. It's pretty narrow, so I'm trying to work with what I got here. And we'll kind of go through and show you everything on the bus. Like I said, wood floors, uh, nice wood ceiling. I put that up there. Um, we'll start over here on the left side. We have these wonderful seats, leather, and they're very comfortable seats. I love those things. People love them. I had shag carpeting. That red carpeting is shag carpeting. I have a nice little table. That's going to be replaced with a different table. Got my uh, Marvel Superheroes arcade machine right there. But look, I can put my comic books underneath my seats, I can fit three boxes on each side. So we're looking at six uh, short boxes of books underneath the seats and some other hiding places as well. So that's not the only place those books are going to be. But anyway, this is my nice little dining room area. You look up here, I have my cabinets, the coffee and comics logo is up there. Those will fold up so you can get in there, put storage and, you know, whatever you need to. I have my little uh, buddy up in here. Let me see if I can pull him out. Come on, I got uh, Baby Yoda or whatever that thing is hanging out there on the side. Hey, Baby Yoda, Groot, whatever his name is. I don't know, Guru. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, like I said, my Marvel thing. Hey, uh, move on side here. We got some more storage. I got another arcade machine for my Miss Pac-Man. Uh, this is my daughter's dresser thing. I'm probably going to give that to her and just leave this open for storage and stuff like that, uh, which should be good. Here is the Bueller bed. And it's not made. I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't forget to put the new comforter on there. Um, that back shelf that you see above the bed, I'm going to take that out. I'm not happy with it. I need more headspace, so I'm going to rip it out, uh, redesign it, and redesign the back end a little bit. So that's one of those things I need to do before I get going. I should probably have that done within a couple weeks or so. Uh, but there's tons of storage underneath the bed as well, which is awesome. There's my fan. That works really well. And I have a ceiling fan as well. This is the uh, cabinets on the left-hand side. I don't have the doors on them yet. I have to make those, so that's another little small project. Here is my wonderful uh, back wall full of stickers that I put on there, all sorts of different cool stickers, and I tried to be you know, hip and stuff. Um, here is my Jackery 1,000-watt generator. That thing's awesome. Here is my internet booster, so I have internet throughout the whole country which is great. Here is my wonderful kitchen counter. Look, I got water. I got running water and everything. Um, I need to hook up the gray water tank. I'm going to do that this week. Uh, but a nice cutting board, nice long counter. It's tall, a lot of storage. Um, a lot of these are bolted down to the counter so they don't uh, come off, which is very important. Learned that lesson very quick. I'm going to take a seat right now and show you the cabinets and stuff. And here is a cabinet where's my five-gallon clean water and then my... Uh, uh, dark water 
here is my little refrigerator and some storage underneath there and this is all storage for pots pans whatever i need to put in there and also the bottom ones but these were the pictures that were on the uh coffee and comics set i turned them into uh doors so it worked out pretty good um so yeah that's a pretty good tour of the thing there's some wrestling going on but let me see if i can turn the camera around and uh say hello to you guys and there you go so that is a kind of a uh, tour of the bus uh hopefully you guys enjoy the outside and everything and like i said i just want to say uh um whatnot really stepped up to adopt this project and help me out um really i couldn't be able to go on this journey without them um because there is uh i mean you guys all know that uh, gas or diesel is just outrageous right now it's uh, twice what it was a year ago and the cost of to do this is actually more the cost for like the mortgage of my monthly for the house uh depending on how much i travel so i'm not really saving any money by uh, moving out of my house and stuff and just so you guys know I sold my house but it was my it was my mother and my uncle's house that I was living in and so I didn't get any of the money from the house it goes to them uh, I was just been pretty much renting it from family members over the last few years so for a really uh, uh, affordable price so thank you to them uh, but yeah I don't get any money from the sale of the house so it goes to my mom and she could really use it so I'm happy that she got that taken care of um, but yeah, if you guys want to see anything else, let me know. I can't think of anything, but you'll be seeing more and more of the, uh, a bus as time goes on. Obviously I'll be filming in here and doing videos around the bus outside and, and all sorts of, uh, cool things. Um, I said this before, I have a van life wish list and man, you guys bought almost everything on the list. There's like two things left and they're like 20 or 30 bucks. So it's no big deal. You can just buy them myself. Uh, but man, I mean, there was items on that list that were over a thousand dollars and some of you guys bought those for me and it's just the generosity of the community and people's willingness to give is just tremendous. And, uh, I'm going to do my best to give back. Uh, that's kind of what I want to do and I enjoy giving back and I, I want to, uh, pay it forward. So, uh, that is my goal, uh, on this trip, paying it forward meeting great people uh you know it's extending the comic community to maybe people who don't know about it you know and sharing some stuff and we have free comic books that we're going to be giving away as part of this trip and endeavor uh thanks to some friends of mine and whatnot and other sponsors so it's going to be just a lot of fun and uh, uh without a combination of you guys and those people I, I, you guys made it able for me to live a dream and a lot of you guys have said that you're living the dream, Bueller. I, I am. I really am. So it's pretty damn cool. <laughs> and I'm very grateful. I might even get my tooth fixed. But <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the, the the tour of the bus, the outside, the inside. Uh, a few more things to get done. Like I said, the wheels and tires. Going to get new brakes. Uh, check the suspension. And just check some things off the list before I feel comfortable driving across the country. And... Uh, We'll go from there. I still need to get the, the uh, all the right paperwork and the tags and all that stuff because I have a trip permit right now and and I want to get uh, the plates and everything and, and uh, everything good to go because I don't want to travel across the country on just trip permits. So I got to get all that taken care of. So it's in the works. Just DMV is taking forever right now and that's fine. It is what it is. I don't mind waiting a little bit longer because of the weather and uh, the longer I can wait, the better the weather is going to be for me to go over the pass and through the mountains and stuff like that. So I don't mind waiting a little bit longer. Uh, anyway, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much. I enjoy it uh, Showing off this bus as you can see I'm pretty excited uh, My family's excited. Uh, they're like they're through the moon and uh, You know uh, My house is pretty much empty right now. So I'm in, in the bus. I'm, I'm living in here pretty much. So it's all good All right, everyone appreciate your time and I will see you soon. All right later